Pokemon Scarlet yet again, and I am going to be go locating the the Team Star base near Cartondo. Wait, is he even here? Yeah, he's near here. Okay. So just take this path. Wait, we need to ride right on. Okay. I think we need to take this path. No, because that leads to a river.
All right, I'm just gonna pause the video so then you get so then I'm not gonna waste too much time. So to prove that the climbing glitch still does work. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This will be the best way of playing hide and seek. I switched my way of playing, so I decided to just play handheld. Well, technically not handheld. Uh. Okay, but still, I need to get there. Ow! I got. <laughs> Took a map. Take a zigzag. On the bridge. I take that bridge. Let me pause again. Eh. What the? Oh, it's a cat kid! I never got a cat kid before. Level 15. Oh, wait, I don't even have any Pokeballs. I'm just gonna run. The, the amount of chocolate here, though. Crazy. What the one is this? Ah! I fell! I didn't see the water. What Pokemon is that? Oh, it's a Bweasel. Oh, that's just a Psyduck. I just saw Psyduck. The Bweasel is a terrestrialized Pokemon, but I'm not gonna get the Bweasel. Ah, oh, a Tad Bulb. It's a wild one. They're just running from everything since I just want to defeat that that bad guy that dark crew leader. Okay, Pokemon Center is near. Let's go, run here. How in the world is so many targets spawn in a water in a water place? It feels Super than wrong right there. Da, 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 da. Oh! Yo! So, from what I got over there, seems like the open sky, sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain, too. It's gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging all those. What? I think it'll be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder, but maybe you could power your way through. A top that boot of yours. Yeah, I can just use Collide on to do that. Though I'm not doing that. I just want to defeat the Team Star Darkus base. Ooh. I'll take this bridge, right? Let's check. Let's check if I'm on the right track. Yeah, I'm on the right track. Okay. What am I just <laughs> Now it knows that I'm taking that destination. I think we're close. Yeah, we're close. Take this path. There, here we are. 
Wait, let's change our leader Pokemon. All right, Snowy, it's time for you to be the lead Pokemon. I'm gonna fight the open Sky Titan later. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead, it, up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Sigin Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a bunch here, but are you that Jacob kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, says. Cool as a cucumber. Oh. Honestly, not always. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Ah, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Let's fight. You're challenged by Team Star by the Team Star Gang. Murko, that's a dark and flying type. Go, Snowy. Of course, I have to play rough, so I might be able to kill it. It's level 19? It avoided? What? Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Under 9, I killed it. Okay, it's gonna be hard since I have to use potions on snow every time. It's such a sassy kid how to be so strong. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish finish up here for me, would you, bud? Thanks. Hasta la vista! Hasta la vista! She's new to the team. You know, might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at your full force if we set foot inside. So you might wanna consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! I see you take you took care of the guards. Nice work. Yep. Now, hold up in the base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have stopped him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to think strategic types like him. Bring him down. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of op the operation. Time to swipe the second squad off the map. Yep. Since I am over leveled, I think I'm gonna real quick go to the Pokemon Center so I can heal my Pokemon. I'm saving Snowy up for the Revive Room battle that we're about to have. I'm just gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center. Ugh. Oh, like 
throw the Pokeball down. Good morning, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Do, you, do your precious Pokemon need a rest? Yes. Okay. Fido and the rest of your team should be all better now. Oh, and I went ahead and charged up your tarot orb too. Come back and see us again whenever you need. My tarot orb is charged. Okay, now let's go back. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Wait, no, 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 I need to see the first three Pokemon I'm gonna use though. I'm gonna use high leveled ones. All right, I already have my high leveled ones, okay. Yes. Yes. I'm willing to battle the Dark Cruise base, the second squad. Where's Clive? Right. Careful now. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need... Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in. Thinking he can break our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who's, who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. So our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30, yeah, 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 yada, 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 I know. The R button. Press the Y button to give up. I never want to give up. All right, R. Go, Snowy. Go, my poopy poopies. Azorua! Look at Psychozar though. Oh, those are a bunch of Char Cadet. Oh no, Bisharp! Those are. No, those are Ponyards! Those are Ponyards. Those are Ponyards. Oh no, Snowy's low, low HP. Okay. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight. What are you guys doing? Attack. Kill them, Psychozar. We're gonna have to heal her up. <laughs> Sneasel. There's Clive, okay. Look at Psychozar, man. He's so fast. Okay, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Two more. Finish it, Psychozar! Yeah! We did it! Now we can fight the boss. He's, he's way above our wheel. Level. We've got to get the boss. Oh, here he comes. Yakubo. 
there's his regular room and the rooms combined into one. Boss of Team Stars Dark Coup, Giacomo. He's a lower level than me, that's good. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Jacob, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a Vice, either way. Nice to meet you and all. But how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play your set with a plan as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! The screen lagged for a sec. You are challenged by Giacomo of Team Star. He's obviously he's sent out a poneyard. What is it, You don't really think things will do ya. Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad idea. 21? He's Ponyard is This big grab. This dribble bot. The, the, <laughs> Sorry, I can't really. Metal Claw. Oh! Because he has a backup. Because Ponyard is a steel type. Why did I send out Snowy? Oh, it's a steel type as well. I might be able to kill it soon enough. Okay, let's switch to Torch since he's level 23. I think some of his Pokemon will be steel types. Oh, yeah. Rebel Room is also a steel type, so I might think I have to rely on Torch. All right. In incinerate. It's faster. Incinerate! Yes, I killed it. Okay. Got one down. Three to go with it. Two to go with it. He's... He sets out Rev of Room this fast? Time to... Uh, up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Oh, I'm fighting the car, Rev of Room. <laughs> Let's harass wise. Second Starmobile. Prepare to get destroyed, Giacomo! Prepare to get destroyed! Look at Torch. That didn't kill Torch, though. And Shirley! Alright, let's use... Let's use a potion. Use a super potion on Torch since he needs healing. Okay, we use the super potion. Wield him up. Look at Torque again. Doesn't do that much damage. Another incinerate. Metal sound. Oh, Torch avoided it! Incinerate! Another incinerate. Is that supposed to do damage? Oh my de special defense hearts are fell. Incinerate. Just one more hit. Just one more hit. Snarl. Oh! It's okay, Torch lived it. He lived it. Incinerate! Guess that's that. He's like, oh, my car is destroyed. <laughs> About a year and a half ago. Oh, is this like the origin story? Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Oh, that's Ortega. That's the one who made the cars. The big boss just wanted my, my take on stuff. So we had to chat and settled on a few pants. 
A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code. So we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you won't you, Giacomo? Ha, ah, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course, we know you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code? But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our many you've earned our trust many times over without you. Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. As would I. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. Eh. So that's the backstory. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days are as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? He's not mad or anything? Oh, got a screen. 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 I'll give you this choice, TM2. You earned it fair and square. Foul play! I put it in my items pocket. Ha! Ah, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about these Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Huh? Okay, you like at you like it at the academy? Having fun? No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you. I'm just, I'm just after a quick word with your mind. Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for this for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are headed for exclusion if you keep up your current activities, so why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though. We don't know if, they're, if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, the, like how there's a top champion who is the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't... We like to know. We haven't heard from him. I from him in I don't know. Must be a year and a half now. We thought that we that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept fresh in us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it in words. You eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. It's Cassiopeia. It's me. 
It seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge. The symbol of his status has a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a sec. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some league points over to your phone, as promised. League points? What do we get for those? For those. 5,000 league points? You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give it to give you some materials for making TMs. All right, that's good. Oh, hi, Benny. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But I'm I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff. So I'll be working behind this. Oh my god. I have a theory, guys. I think Penny is the big boss of Team Star. Look, she said hacking. She's Cassiopeia. So here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You are Cassiopeia, Penny. I know it. Lots of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your... Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With the trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm pretty sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Does she even have a cycle server of her own? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think we're gonna now go battle the the open sky titan. Let's try to find the open sky titan. I know it's around here somewhere. The open sky titan. It's right around here. What the? What's this? Come on. Where's the open sky titan? I swear it's somewhere here though. I just forgot where it is. Just the... Is it? It's near Giacomo? Let's check. Is it near Giacomo's place? There it is! The open sky titan. Okay, let's go. Let's go there. But wait. I couldn't check the thing, so I'll just have to guess. It's probably level 20. I think. So let's run our way there. First of all, I need to check where it is. So take this path towards it okay okay go 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 set on go right on go right on run go right on run okay there we go we got him to run <coughs> sorry i sneeze little glitches Almost there. Wait, are we almost there? Yeah, we are. Okay. We are almost there. I'm pressing the wrong button. Oof. It's low. 
Slow. Ah! I just need to take a bridge there. Then go to this fork, I think. I have to take this fork, I think. This fork leads me straight towards it, okay. Oh! I'm already here! Right on. Bro, I'm so glad I already got the dash ability. I'll be able to dodge these. Look at this first try, first try, guys, first try. Oh! Ow! Never mind. Okay, this the Titan must be here. Oh, I think it's above me. Yeah, it is. It's dropping boulders. Oh, there it is, bomb burger. Okay, so it's going down. I don't know what level it is, though. I'm scared. All right. It's based off a stork. Bombarder, the open sky titan. Okay, I think we should use my belle because my belle has electric type moves which are super effective against Bombarder. Bombarder will allow me to traverse around around water when I defeat him. So let's go, my belle. If you wing attack, it's probably faster than me. Let's just test my theory. It is. It's faster than me. Thunder shock. It's super effective. Okay, I gotta heal my belly. I gotta heal my belly. My belly is my only electric type Pokemon I have. Okay, we regenerated its HP. Oof. Okay, what do I tear it into? Oh, I paralyzed it. That's good. That's good. I paralyzed it. Can I terrestrialize? No, I can't. Yes, it can move! It's weak! Thundershock! This is so good! Why is it? I hope that Chase used a belly bolt against Bombarder. Oh my god! I just made it immobile! My belly is a beast! My belly! Never mind. Thundershock. Oh yeah, you won't be able to skip this phase. I know. I know you won't be able to skip this phase and don't go to a Pokemon Center. Since you'll instantly get to fight it again. The Titan Bombarder began eating something. You managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan? What's been dropping all those boulders? People thought those were poop. I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its intention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we better get ready and go all out! Alright, we're fighting it again. Play match against it. I think it's still a flying type. Okay, go back to my belle. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a, ta a good taste of defeat. So I come back. We need to kill this thing, like immediately. Yo, my belle! <laughs> it used rock throw. No, my belle! No, 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 no. And actually use Smackdown. Oh, that's actually super effective. Fell straight down. When will I my ability work? I'm gonna use a potion on my belly. I use a potion. Has AP HP restored. It used pluck on Nackley. Okay, I might be able to hit with a thunder shock. Good job, Arvin. Good job. Thunder shock. On Nackley. Okay. Thunder shock. It's super effective. Finish it off, Arvin! Oh, I can finish it. Finish it, finish it. It's using Torment. 
We can do this, my belly! you can learn, you should learn Snarl. Let's replace Tackle with Snarl. Ta-da! Torch forgot Tackle and learned Snarl, and, le and it learned Snarl and said, I defeated the, I defeated Bomb Burner! Yes! Way to go! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Now we're going in the sea. There has to be more of that herbal mist got in, in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. If we're lucky, there will be another herb in here. Oh, he sees the last one. I knew it! It really is here. This is one of the herbs. No, make no mistake. Okay. You and Arvin found the bird, the bitter Herba Mystica. It's bitter? What? Woohoo! We did it! Thanks! Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter Herba Mystica is great for your circulation. It gets real it gets the it really gets the blood flowing. And it and that warms you right up. Nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for? It's time to dig in. All right, let me whip something up for us. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Why do we look so disgusted? Cry down's gonna come out. Of course I'm gonna give him the same because I want him to like so. Ah yes! Oh come on, you again! Sleep, sleep. You want to give your sandwich to ride on? Definitely, you're adorable. No one can resist that cute face. Yanks! Hmm. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff. So it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Karidon could have a sandwich, okay? Jump, jump, slash, jump. Let's see what ability I get. Yeah! Uh, yes! Karadon will be able to move across water now. Yes! Did it grow stronger again? And uh, yeah! Man, these Arba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better or else I'm really up the creek. And uh, yeah! Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Ah, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. 
the wood. Come out, come on out, bud. Ooh, oh no! This is Marble Step, my partner. Oh, that's the evolved form of Mastiff! Ah, uh, yeah? Oh no! Here you go, bud. Eat this up. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now, take your time. Small bites, small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy hero was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things don't work? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. Mabel's of here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him feel better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. Book, what is it? I found it in my mom's lab. Herba Mystica. Area Zero was home to the wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which turned into which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Is this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody usually believes? But I believe it. I think what it says is true. Yeah. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my most Mavo Stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate the la that last herb, but they warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. What? Oh, you done eating, bud? He's trying to stand up. Hey, hey, Mavo Stiff, can you, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been, it! It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man! I, I'm so... I'm so glad! That's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I don't know the difference. They're so cute. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabel Stiff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's pause. Ah, da, 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 da. Hello, this is Sada. I detect that Karidon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Oh! Okay. How to move across water? Karidon can now move across bodies of water, opening up new ways to get around. If you press the B button while you're on the water, Karidon can even jump. I'm re I am relying on you to continue taking good care of Coridon. Okay, so let's test that ability. Let's find a water place for Coridon to go on. Oh, there's a body. Oh, it works! It works! It works! Oh, what? Oh, it's, a bear it's an Aerocuda. Let's, let's get away safely. Look at Coridon though! He's in the water, his throat and tail grew. And stuff. Sigur! 
That's all, guys. Bye.